Think about this. Where would we be without batteries? They're in your phone, your watch, your remote control. By the way, you can put that down for the next half hour. Well, what if the electric power that you needed was right in the actual palm of your hand? Here's Adam Yamaguchi. You're looking at a very special moment. The little girl's name is Anne Makazinski. Anne is two years old and she's discovering her passion. Those aren't toys she's playing with, they're electronic parts. This is Anne today, a 16-year-old girl with a head for science and a heart to help others, who was only 15 when she invented this, a flashlight powered solely by the heat from your hand, just a hollow tube and no batteries. I think I've always loved science from a very early age. I was definitely really weird. All my friends thought I was weird. My parents like put bowls around my head and cut around it, literally. And I had round glasses, so everyone called me Harry Potter. Well, I remember when she was about five or six, she would be making things from around the house, describing all her inventions that she made. This they could hang it. Or they could, when they put it down the table, it would be like that. It's partially probably because we didn't buy her any toys. <laughs> Anne may have grown up without traditional toys, but when she found out a friend was living without something much more vital, that's when her flash of genius struck. I'm half Filipino and half Polish, so I have some friends back in the Philippines. One of my friends didn't have any light to study with at night. She couldn't see her notes, and so she failed her grade. Her family couldn't afford any electricity. So I wanted to create a light source for my friend, so I thought, why not a flashlight? The problem is, flashlights rely on battery power. Anne had to find an alternative solution. I decided to harness the thermal energy of humans using something called Peltier tiles. Peltier tiles are made of ceramic and an alloy called bismuth telluride that generate electrical charges when different temperatures are applied. I ventured to Victoria, British Columbia, Canada to find out what inspired Anne's scientific spirit. So over here is my workbench. Wow. So show me how you put together this flashlight. Right, so there's a few steps. And the first one would be taking a hollow aluminum tube and we had to mill off the top part because you take a flat piece of aluminum, lay it on top of here, and here the Peltier tiles could lie on top. Just like that. I usually have around four. They just lie on top. And then we put the whole contraption inside this plastic PVC pipe. Okay, so you can see when you put your hand on here, you're heating one side. So your hand is your hand which your hand has heat is comes in contact with these tiles. Yes. And cooling the other side with the hollow design. The secret part that I cannot tell you about is the circuit that only has four parts, so it's very simple, that I use to boost the voltage that I get from the Pelte tiles and provide light. Anne then showed me her first prototype, where she added a foam covering to keep your hand warmer. Would you like to put your hand? Yes, please. Just, just hold it like a regular flashlight. Okay. Oh, wow. That's like instant. Yes, it's an instant reaction. All that hard work paid off. Anne won the Google Science Fair for her age group, received scholarship money, and is working on getting a patent for her invention, all before graduating from high school. But it all started here, this two-year-old playing with electrical spare parts that would lead to an innovation to help others. It's amazing to think that this might in fact provide light or a way to produce electricity for other people in the near future. And despite her breakthrough innovation, Anne still claims to be just a regular kid. Would you consider yourself a, a good student? Are you like a, a C student? I'm a mediocre student, I'll put it that way. What did you get a C in? Not seeing it on camera. <laughs>